And welcome back to another episode of your last Raven AC in the video. Well, today we have this very small comment, but check it out. Well, all right then, we're using your AC without OPI. So here we have the AC, Forest. And just from looking at it alone, this one seems like a solid AC that could possibly do uh, a lot of, like a range of things. But I do like the whole RM3 plus the Kanara, of course, and a machine gun with a blade there. And of course, who could forget, an EO on the core. Uh, I also actually like the color. When you when, like when I saw the name Forest, I was expecting something greener and brown and stuff like that. But no, this, this is this is good. Uh, okay, I know that you didn't write this down because you know you wrote just go for general. But nah, nah, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. All right, well that's AC then. That that looks pretty good. Uh, no insight, by the way, man. That's four episodes now without an insight. But I don't see myself having any trouble with this AC. <coughs> wow, I'm sorry. So let's go and uh, first test this out. Main system. All right, Game let me see your speed. Nice. I mean, it's got the TP booster equipped, but that is some good speed there. 423 kilometers per hour. That's not bad at all. All right, since I cannot use the missile launcher here, let's just assume that I'm in a situation where I had to use just missiles and back off during the entire time that I'm doing it. So, like I said, my speed now is 423 kilometers per hour. Drop these, and I only have my machine gun left. So, what does that do? 480 kilometers per hour. Not bad at all. And as I always say, we got an EO here. Um, we're a little bit on the draining side with the booster. However, however, that's a big but. Uh, look how quickly the energy regenerates. Like, that, that is a very, very good energy regeneration. Look at that. I'm barely on the ground anymore and it nearly got everything uh, the regenerated that I consumed already. Especially if I do it like this, then it's way better. Um... Yeah, I think this is good. I think this is very solid. And of course, we have ourselves the blade here. This is the Elf one, so it's got like the the three separate uh, blade beams that come out of it. But if used close range, that should be able to do some decent damage to any one. Um. Okay, okay, okay. I guess it's not, okay. The only thing I want to say that I'm a little bit concerned about, only a little bit, is the heat generation. But not so worried that I think I'm, it's unwinnable. More so worried as in I could get into a hairy situation with this. But in general, I think it's not going to be too much of an issue. Let's fight the test AC. Okay, you know what? I, I know this is not about the AC itself, so I just want to, like, you know... Say this here. You know how much I think this the test AC of Armored Core One. Uh, I mean, of this game is honestly a great test AC because it's like it's the starter AC, yes, but it's it's like it's controlled in a way that it's actually decently competent at using just the starter AC, which means it's a great way to test out a lot of smaller things. It's not going to be as good, strong as an actual threatening opponent, but it's very good for like just testing, and that's why I always loved including it in my last Raven. Uh, uh, request videos because it's a great test but yeah uh, use some missiles there and honestly I should want to try to use my blade a bit more oh thankfully the, the blade is long there we go very damaging blade as well but we are using the optional parts for it at the, the, the primer yeah the primer also, as I'm going through the mission now that you wanted me to do, so your first mission is Battle Challenge. I want to say, uh, I'm glad, like, an anonymous watcher is commenting themselves now, because, as like, I encourage people to just watch what they want, and, like, they don't have to comment. But the fact that you want to just join in, that honestly feels like you're part of the community that way. And I really do like that. But, okay, your first uh, thing you wanted me to do is the Battle Challenge, which is against Shades. I Should be no problem at all. Now, the thing is, this start is always kind of unnecessary, like, you don't really do anything here that, in particular, is super dangerous, or, like, it's just a matter of waiting. So, here we go, here we are, just waiting. And honestly, I just realized that I didn't even use the EO earlier in the, t the test run, 
So, yeah, but yeah, like, this is just waiting because, like, even wasting, using ammo here doesn't make this go faster. It's just time limits, invisible time limits. But yeah, I didn't use EO earlier, but I'll use it now during the actual battle. You know, I should stop using it in that case so I can have maximum ammo on it. There we go. Uh, 36 ammo, I think that's the cap. Well, you know, l let me start, stop. Uh, participating with this battle. I'll have my micro missile uh, launcher ready for when the shade shows up. No, no, no. Don't hit me. Good, good, good. Alright, shade, can you show up now already? Party's not here without you. Here we go. Yes. Are you now? With, with, with me piling an AC like this? Good, nice dream. Okay, I just want to use... Oh, God, I just realized I stopped using my extension again. You're not banned. <laughs> You're not banned. I'm just using freaking missiles alone. Okay, drop that. Well, I guess it's time for us to go close the gap here a bit then. And I also want to try to... Yes. Well, shit, that actually was really easy. Um... Here, enjoy some of this. And... Wow, that was ridiculously easy. I even managed to get the sneak in a blade there. Mission objective achieved. S rank. I mean, could have expected that. Okay, shut down energy plant. That's the one that you go in, destroy the generators, and then go out and you uh, run into the pulverizer. Shouldn't be a problem with this. I can already see how I'm going to utilize this AC for this. Alright, let's go. We're going to head in. we got good speed here, so they're not going to do anything to us. Oh, whoop. Was hoping I was going to... Okay, okay. So... There's going to be a flamethrower over here. Yes, okay, just being fast is good. And then boom. And then we have the ace, the MT over there. Hang on. There we go. Beat it without even taking any damage. And then we should do the same with this. Oh. Shit, I still managed to get hit by the flame there. I mean, it wasn't a lot of damage. When I looked at that, I barely took any damage at all. Okay. Same idea. See? Conserving ammunition. Oh, oh, shit! The, how can I forget about that one? Well, shit. Uh. Damn, I was afraid of that. Alright. I, I was a bit too rushy there, I admit. That was my mistake. Alright, there's one right around the corner. And. How the hell? Two blade swipes? That wasn't enough? Well, let's go. Alright, just curious, just curious. Is this enough to hit it? Because it's at long range. Cool, it is. Hang on. Can I... I guess not. And then I just hit this. And no damage taken from that. Okay, well, I didn't take that much damage yet so far, so I'm not too worried about this just yet. Okay, uh... Let's go. No damage. Perfect. 
All right, let me re regenerate a bit of my uh, energy here. Okay. Now, let's go and find this guy. It looks like reinforcements. What's my intention of blading him? Oh, damn, he had rockets. Whoa, whoa, dude, don't, not, not in there. Well, he sadly hit me there with a blade himself. You call yourself a raven? Ooh. If the blade, if the blade beam didn't split like that, I would have hit him there. Honestly, like me being overzealous with the blade kind of dipped me in there, so oops. Well, anyway, I should still have a pretty good chance against the pulverizer because the pulverizer is highly allergic to missiles, and I got plenty of missiles ready here. An RM3 missiles to, uh, to be exact on the extension, along with the Kanara, and the Kanara is already effective on its own against this, so never mind with the RM3. Go. All right, not skipping the cutscene just yet. Woo! Pulverizer. What is that? Thing? All right, okay, enough. Okay, missiles. It is. Okay, I avoided the laser beam there. See, 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 easy. Thank you. I'm probably gonna have a very low rating though because uh, I did run out of energy earlier, and that is part of your rating if you run out of energy or not. Rank B. See, that's what I mean. Here we go. Last mission: destroy AC Heaven's Ray. And again, I don't see a issue with this AC at all with that. I still got three lives, so even then I have multiple chances, but I'm probably just gonna need one with an AC like this. Alright, let's go. I don't intend to use my missiles against him from the start here. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Funny how you're trying to use an ECM jammer right away there, like, that's not gonna be too effective at all. Okay. And... Use this. Oh, ho, 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 ho! You like being bladed yourself? Why the pilot? Oh. Okay, he did use me. He did use a slug gun against me. So. Oh. Oh, slug gun. There's only one AC pilot I know of that should be notorious with the slug, and you're not it. Oh, whatever. Micro missile time! Hell, I'm even gonna throw in my EO just for the fun. Man. Who would have known? You know, it's kind of funny. It's like you're tell telling the pulverizers no room for mistakes. Well, no, 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 that was not it. I thought that was it. Now that was it. See, easy. Hell, I still got some uh, missiles uh, left for more. So if I had like a surprise attack here uh, uh, afterwards, would have had enough for that. Nice work. S rank, yeah, I, I, honestly, I got to hit by a few slug guns, but that's it. Oh, that was a pretty solid run. Well, good AC. So, Forrest, you were a solid AC. A solid AC that could do multiple things, and... Um, actually, I don't really have much else to say here, because it actually is just a good AC for a lot of different scenarios. And, like I said, I did like the whole green theme to it, so...
That's also a plus in my opinion. And none of the parts broke during the entire thing. So that's another good thing because I was doing the missions, not the arena. Because if you have a part get destroyed in the arena, you have to rebuy uh, buy a new replacement. But that was not the case with this. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And I shall see you guys in the next episode.